What's up, guys? South Buck Nappy bringing you some more Madden 12. What the heck? Uh, anyways, we're going against the Dolphins here, and some interesting news I can tell you guys is Demo Day is coming back for on Saturday. I'm just I'm gonna do it on Saturday because it's a little bit easier for me to do it on Saturday than Sunday because I have to school the next day and Saturday I can just upload the whole night so make it easier and Sunday I'll have to go to bed a little earlier so makes it easier on Saturday so it's gonna be demo Saturday now not demo Sunday anyways also guys if you guys get irritated like if I beat these guys like bad like at any time during this custom settings just tell me and I'll set it, set it back to all mad and like don't matter but soon you guys come to watch my videos to see me win not lose so. alright guys enjoy this game against the dolphins and I'll talk to you guys later and we're excited to have you on board with us for this division clash between the Dolphins and the Patriots. And Chris, in recent years, this rivalry has been one of the more interesting ones in the NFL. Now, Gus, there have been a host of memorable games between the Patriots and Dolphins. There was a snow play game in 82, the AFC Championship game in 85, the high-scoring seesaw battle in the season opener in 95. This has been a special rivalry, and today's game really should be no different. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. And let's take a look at some of the key players of this offensive unit who, as a group, Hope to have a great game in this one. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Starks on the draw. As we introduce the key players on defense, we look no further than Indomitian Sue out of Nebraska. How do you do? He's a dominant force on the D-line. Yeah, Gus, this guy, for such a young player, is as polished as you are. He has the instincts out there of a 10-year pro, and players like him that can come in and dominate the defensive line so soon in their career, well, you know, they're really once-in-a-generation type players. And if you had a guy that big running at you, all you would do is just turn and hide, brother. I know you. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts. Because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. Throws to his right. Nice grab. First down. And he's knocked out. Flacco has now caught 50 passes on the season. Makes the throw over the middle. The stop was made by Lawrence Timmons. He brings in his third ball of this series. And this is a little hard to explain, but I really think that you see receivers begin to get comfortable after they make their first catch and get hit. But any time in a drive that you catch multiple balls, you just get into a rhythm like a putter or like a quarterback throwing the ball or a pitcher. It's something that's a part of sports that's kind of hard to explain. Checks down to the short pass. You bring a little pressure, and it impacts quarterbacks, and we saw it there. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And he makes it. The Dolphins put up the first points. They lead three zip. Number four is just about ready to kick this one away. 
Spiller is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He makes it out to the 20. Number 57 was there for the stop. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. Foster gets it on the draw. And as we look at the key offensive players, a key mix out of North Carolina is the go-to deep threat. And that's important when we talk about a balanced attack all the time. And if you can't stretch the field, you're in danger of becoming extremely one-dimensional. Akeem Nix is an exciting player that gives the offense that home run threat. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And as we take some time to introduce the defensive key players, we spotlight Patrick Willis from Ole Miss. He is one of the best linebackers in the NFL, and he's getting better. Now, multiple Pro Bowls in his career says an awful lot about Patrick Willis. He has a motor that never stops running, and he has become the emotional leader of this defense. Dixon will start his return to the 24. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. He escapes the sack, searching downfield. He's dragged down on the play. Not many plays in the playbook designed to get this kind of yardage. Third down and long. Goes for it all. Joe Flacco let that one get away. He has a great arm, but sometimes he'll still miss those deep balls. Jackson fields it at the 40. He did a good job there, finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. Hit and drop behind the line. The Patriots are simply getting stuffed on nearly every rushing attempt. They need to get a spark somehow because this just does not bode well for them. It's second down now and 13 to go. Looking for a man. Flips it out short. Finley was the intended receiver. Here's a pass over the middle. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection. And anytime that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. Looking for a big gain down the middle. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. They line up at the 36. Throws middle of the field. We go out now we have a first down and 10 to go. Foster, the ball carry. So they'll face a second and 10. He's searching for a receiver. It's going to be a first and goal for the Patriots. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Here's the halfback. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. The Patriots are not doing a good job at all on the ground so far. They need to somehow get that turned around because if you can't run it, Boy, it is tough to throw the football. Throws it over the middle of the field. Nix was his intended target. 
critical third and goal situation. It'll be up to the defense to stop them. Looks left. Here's a short pass. And the pass falls incomplete. They'll line this up, and it will be about a 21-yarder. And the kick is good. And with that, the score is the Patriots. Three. The Dolphins. Three. Jordan Shipley was there to bring him down. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt it away. Starks gets it on the inside. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line by Bird. It's second down and six. Ball on their own 28. Goes through his progression. He's going to his right. Throws. He drops the easy pick. We've got a third and six. In heavy traffic. Joe Flacco showed off the kind of arm strength he has there, but unfortunately that ball was well off target. He's got to rein that one in a little. Jackson gets the ball at the 27. He takes it back to the 43. Fletcher was there for the stop. He's definitely got some breakaway potential when he's back there returning kicks. You give him just a little bit of room, he can break it for a big one. Number 15 hands it off straight ahead. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Foster on the inside handoff. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Dan Connor was there to bring him down. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Short throw to the left. He's brought down at about the 43-yard line by Gordon. First down and 10. Ball on the 43. Searching for an open man. Throws it to the middle. He's wrestled down right around the 38-yard line by Holmes. Nix picks up about five yards with the catch. It's now second and five. Ball on the 38-yard line. Going down the middle with it. It's almost picked off. He's looking down the middle. Throws. He's tackled at about the 31 by Johnson. First down, 10 to go. And looks left. Throws. It's going to be a first and goal for the Patriots. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to the man coverage. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition. And that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. Jackson picks up about a yard with that completion. Just five yards away from a touchdown now. Passes it short. Touchdown! What a play! The attempted pick comes up empty, and it goes for a huge gain. 
Uh, he has a reputation for going after the ball aggressively, and sometimes he's going to get burned. You just have to hope that the safety has your back on a play like that. And that can't make the safety too happy, putting them on an island out there. Yeah, I guess, but it really kind of goes with the territory when you have an aggressive corner. I think most of the time a safety can respect that. They'll start at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. is out to the left makes the catch and he's dropped there's nothing better for a quarterback than to have a big body guy like that that can catch the football nice play good coverage downfield right through his hands he almost had the pick Pittman was the intended receiver on the play it's now second down 10 yards to go He's looking towards the left side. Caught wide open. And the tackle was made by Justin Rogers. It's always kind of funny to think about with all the big guys that play the game of football. Sometimes it's the little wide receivers that scare you the most. Fires a laser down the middle. Number 86 was the intended receiver. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. Surveys the field. The stop was made by Leotis McKelvin. Four yards on that play. The Dolphins will take their last time out. They're now threatening inside the 10. Looking, fires it to the left. Lofton got blasted and just couldn't hang on. That's just a big hit right there. No way the receiver could hold on to that one. It's up and it's good. So the score now, the Dolphins, six, the Patriots, ten. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Jordan.